Welcome to Jesus Inside Prison Ministry presents Jesus House with Dr. William Bumpus. We are providing a strong foundation in Christ and preparing men for a successful future. And now, here's Pastor Bumpus. Praise Jesus. Welcome to today's program. I am Pastor William Bumpus, and you're watching Jesus Inside Prison Ministry, Jesus House. This is a program that comes on every week. We're here every week at the same time, and uh, as you can tell by the title of the program, we are a prison ministry, and we have a reentry program called Jesus House, and the purpose of this program is to inform you about prison ministry and to inform you about Jesus House, where guys who have given their life to Christ while incarcerated can be paroled to or uh, come there straight out of prison. And so that's what this telecast is about. Each week we have guests on the program, uh, Sometimes we have uh, special features. Uh, this week we have a guest for you, uh, and uh, we're going to be uh, interviewing that guest in a, in a few moments. He is a resident, form, I'm not a former, but this is a current resident of the Jesus House, and so we're going to be uh, interviewing him. Uh, and so we pray that you stay tuned to the pro program, that it be a blessing to you. Let's have a word of prayer. Father, again, we thank you for those that are viewing this telecast. Uh, we pray uh, that. Uh, uh, you will meet every one of their needs. Uh, we pray, Lord God, that this program be a blessing to them. In Jesus' name, amen. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Let me offer you this week, we have two other specials I want you to have. One is called Healed of Cancer. That's my story of how God healed me of cancer. And it also gives you a glimpse how you can believe God for whatever you're going through. And also my comic track called Blind No More. That's my story in a condensed form, and I want you to get it. So feel free to write us. It's absolutely free in Jesus' name. Jesus House book. People ask all the time, how do I start a reentry program? Where I get the money at? Where I get the food? Where I get the clothes? That's what this book is all about. Jesus House will teach you how to open up any kind of program, any kind of reentry program, a work release program, a program for youth, whatever kind of facility that you want to open up, Jesus House will give you the A, B, and C's of opening up any kind of program. So make sure you get your copy today. Jesus has changed my life in so many ways. Um, basically, I'm not, I'm not the man that I used to be. It's like this shirt says, I'm not the man that I ought to be. But thank God, I'm not the man I used to be. Once I, once I got that, that scripture inside of me and Jesus inside of my heart, uh, lying doesn't happen anymore. Cheating doesn't happen anymore. Uh, or if it does, is somehow I slip and fall. Um, I get such a, a horrible conviction on my heart and, and, and I have to go to prayer and ask Jesus to take it away and I know that he does that. As far as the Jesus House is concerned and, and, and how it's affected me, uh, it gave me a home, it gave me a sense of peace and comfort. Uh, the brothers inside of here, um, they're all friendly. They all, if you need something, they open their arms to you, they open their doors to you. If you're hungry, they'll feed you. If you're thirsty, they'll figure out some way to get you something to drink. It seems like everybody in here tries to, they, 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 look, they look out for, for you. I found out about Pastor Bumpus in the Jesus House during a, a prayer session at, at the outside dormitories in Pendleton. Somebody knew that I, I was interested in following the Lord and I didn't know exactly what route to take. All I knew is I didn't want to go back home to the same people, the same, the same experiences and everything that led up to what brought me to prison in the first place. I knew I needed a change, I knew I needed another start. Pastor Bumpus, he's, he has a, a way of enlightening you. Uh, I've read the Bible many times and, and I thought I knew, I thought I knew a little bit, but this guy, he explained things in a whole new way to where you can apply it to your life. Uh, he's teaching me a lot about prayer. Praise Jesus. Again, uh, you're watching Jesus Inside Prison Ministry presents Jesus House. I am your host, Pastor William Bumpus, and uh, I'm the founder of uh, Jesus Inside Prison Ministry as well as Jesus House. We thank you for tuning in to today's uh, telecast. Uh, I pray that book offer that we, uh, you've seen that we offer, pray you take advantage of that. Uh, get all the books, you understand? Go on our website and you'll find other materials that you might enjoy. Uh, today, you understand, we have an uh, exciting guest for you. He's a resident of the Jesus House. I want to introduce our uh, guest for this week. 
He's a resident of the Jesus House. This is uh, Isaac Corbin. Welcome to today's program. Thanks, sir. I mean, thank you, sir. Amen. Praise the Lord. We're going to make sure, you know, did you get okay? Uh, so you are Isaac Corbin. Uh, where are you from originally? I, I was raised in Gary, Indiana. Raised in Gary, Indiana. Okay. I was born in Chicago, Illinois. So you were born in Chicago, raised in Gary, Indiana. Yes, sir. Okay. How long did you stay there? Was, uh, how do you, did you been there all your life or what? I stayed in Gary all the way until I was 23. Okay. How old are you now? I'm 40. Okay. So you was in Gary, you're here in Indianapolis now? Yes, sir. How'd you get here? Um, got out of prison. Huh? When I was in prison, um, I came to one of your services at the, in the prison. Okay. And that's how I found out about the Jesus House, so I put in for the Jesus House. Okay. And then I got accepted, and then that's how I ended up in Indianapolis. Okay. So, but how'd you end up in prison? Oh, so you went, you went okay. from Gary okay. uh, to prison. Uh, how'd you wind up in prison? And you don't have to be in detail, okay. but you know. Ended up in prison for dealing cocaine. For dealing cocaine, okay. Um, right. They gave me 12 years on a dealing cocaine case. Okay. I did six years on it. Right. And now I'm free again. Free Amen. again. So you did six years on a 12 year sentence uh, for dealing cocaine. Uh, you started dealing cocaine when you came to Indianapolis or from Gary? I'm doing cocaine all the way from Gary. Okay. So that's where you got busted at, in Gary. I got busted in Terre Haute. Oh, Terre Haute. All right, Terrell, so Indiana. you went from Gary, and then you still sold dope in Terre Haute, and then and then ended up, you was you was a drug dealer. Yes. Okay, <laughs> and so you wind up with twelve years, uh, and uh, so you said so you began to come to the chapel service. Yes, sir. Why? I knew I knew God spared me for a reason, and I okay. know it was. I tried it my way all all the time, so right. it was time to try a new way. Right. I mean, God God kept touching my spirit. My okay. spirit just led me to the chapel. I mean, I've been in church all my life, pretty much, but I just didn't, wasn't ready to go down that road right. until now. Right. So did you accept Christ in prison or where? I accept Christ in prison. Okay. And that was at what, what prison were you at? Putnam Correctional Facility. Putnamville. Okay. So you accepted Christ there at Putnamville. Yes, sir. Uh, and then you began to come to the services that we held there. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, for those that ain't watching, those that are watching, we we used to uh, before the COVID, we would go to Putnamville. We have a revival at Putnamville uh, once a month. We would be there Saturday, two services on Saturday, two services on Sunday, and we did that every month. In fact, I've been going to Putnamville since 1986. Every month since 1986. So this is where I met Isaac was at that service. Is that right? Yes, sir. And uh, what what did you hear about the Jesus House from that service or? Uh, did you hear about it in the prison? I heard about it when I was reading your books. Okay. When I read all your books. Okay. And, I, and then I found out about it, and that's when I started having questions about it. Okay. And I come to your service, and then you tell us about the, um, the Jesus House. Oh, okay. So you read the books, uh, yes. and that got you interested in the Jesus House. So we come to the chapel service, and then we explain the Jesus House to you more. Yes, sir. Okay. So then you wind at the Jesus House. Uh, how long you been there? I've been in, at the Jesus House five months now. Five months. So what do you think about it? It's pretty nice. It's keeping me out of trouble. It's keeping me in the Word. <laughs> okay. I mean, we don't want for nothing. Amen. We got all our needs met there, so we pretty much don't even need nothing. Amen. No worries, no nothing. So. Amen. Praise the Lord. So you enjoy the Jesus House? Yes, sir. Amen. So, <laughs> <laughs> so we have what? How many Bible studies do we have at the Jesus House? Um, two. Okay, two. The afternoon one and the seven o'clock one. Okay, so we have two Bible studies five days a week. Yes, sir. Okay, and then we have uh, Saturday's free day, and then Sunday is church service. Yes, sir. Oh, so you enjoy all of that? Yes, I do. Amen. Praise the Lord. So what are your plans? My plan future is, plans. My future plans is whatever God got for me. Right. If he got for me to join the ministry, right. I join the ministry. Right. I'm letting God lead me to do it all. Right. Because if I try to rush it myself, then it ain't right. going to work. Right. So now you on any parole or probation or anything? I get off parole in October. Okay. So October this year, you'll get off parole. Yes, sir. Good, good. How much parole did you have when you got out this last time? This time I only had... Hallelujah. 
Five, no, when I got out April, I had 10 months left. 10 months left, okay. So October, you'll be off paper, amen. Yes, sir. Which is a good thing, uh, amen. And then you'll just follow whichever way the Lord leads you. Yes, sir. Amen, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, anything you'd like to say to people watching? Just uh, what I'm saying, well, think about this. You still say you're in prison. I mean, you're talking to somebody that's in prison. You know what I mean? Just think uh, maybe some guys at uh, Putnamville or Pendleton is watching the program. What would you tell them? Just stay focused and just stay on the path that God got you on. And if you ain't saved, it's time to get saved because we got to be ready when Jesus comes back. So just stay focused and see I'm making it so you, you, you can make it. Amen. Amen. So whatever the Lord leads you is where, where you're at, right? Yes, sir. So you're open to whatever God leads your direction. Yes, sir. Okay. So uh, you, you, so you're really into the Bible studies there at the Jesus House? Uh, yes, sir. And I do studies on my own, too. Okay. So, uh, now, did you do a lot of study while you were locked up? Yes, I have. Right. Now, I remember you come to the service a lot of times. Amen. <laughs> yeah, I, I come to the service all the time. Yeah, you always came to the service. Amen. I always sit on the left side. Generally, that was your spot. I remember that. Amen. And uh, so you got out. You're doing the same thing. Do you think uh, that's the key to staying out? You know what I'm saying? It's getting into a program like Jesus House and staying focused or what? Yes. I mean, yes. Yeah, it is because... Everybody, I've seen a lot of people succeed in the Jesus House. They, right. that's, that's succeeding right now. Right. So, yes, I, I believe the Jesus House is a good place for people wants to come there, get right. their life together. They really want to get their life together. Right. Because we do have some that come to Jesus House that don't want to get their life together. Right. You've you, you seen some of them? Yes, I have. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I have. Amen. And so, you know, we, we, we have to dismiss them. Amen. Uh, but the majority of the guys come there. They're serious about getting their life right. Would you agree with that? Yes, sir. Amen. They serve as a good example? A lot of them do. Yeah, yeah. What do you think about the, the instructors that we have? All the directors, they are, they are, they, they good, they good, um... Yeah, you're talking about the resident directors. Yes, I'm talking right. about the resident, yeah, they, they good examples. Right. I'm talking about the instructors, you know, the guys come in and do the Bible All studies the, at noon time. Okay, yeah, they, they they good, so they give us the word. Okay. And it's such a spirit if right. you're in tune with it. Right, right. If you're in tune with it. Yeah, right. you got to be in tune with it. You, know, you got to let your spirit be right. open to it. Right. Right. I mean. right, right. But I like all the instructions that come in. Right. Now tell us, what about your family? You got any sisters, brothers, or anything like that? Yes, I got 10 sisters. Wow, wow. And three brothers. Okay. My little brother doing federal time right now. He got 12 years for federal. Okay. Um, my little sister, just, she's staying in Arizona. Okay, okay. She witnessing the word right now. That's good. Yeah. So, with her life, she just chose to start doing that because that's what God got her doing. Right. Yeah. She she lost a baby. He lost one of her babies, and that made her start witnessing to one. Okay. Yeah. So she been she been doing good. She be trying to witness to me too. So that's good. Yeah. Yeah. So that's how I, I stay strong in the word. I got right. people, family members that uh, that talk to me about the word and right. keep me keep me focused. Cause right. sometimes I can get get sidetracked. So, sure. Yeah. I mean, but I ain't, I ain't fall off this time. So right. I'm really really fed up going to prison. I'm really fed up going to jail. Right. So I'm just gonna be patient and wait on God. Right. Now uh, this ain't your first time at these houses. Is it? It's my second time. <laughs> the first time, I okay. left on good terms on the first time, but right. I just left and moved out with a female, thought I was ready, and I wasn't ready. Right. So moved in with the female, she put me up. So right. Right. I was back to square one, then I ended up violating parole and on top of that. So, right. so okay. now I'm back to Jesus House again. Right. But you, 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 you're more dedicated this time. Yes, I am. Well, I mean, I noticed because you, you've been there longer this time than you was the first time. The first time was only a month. Well, yeah, you stayed there a month. Hey, man, met a, met a girl. And, you know, like I tell the guys all the time, she tricks you out to Jesus' house. <laughs> That's what happens a lot of times, you know what I mean? And, and then once they get you out to Jesus' house, you know, and then something go wrong, there he is. And that's what happened. So how so how did you reoffend to go back? Did you go back to selling drugs or just violate, just didn't show up or something? I violated for a new case. For oh, casting, you picked up another case. For casting uh, bad checks. Okay. All right. Yeah. And that's how I violated my pro that time. Right. And they gave me work release on that, that, that time. They gave me work release and then I still have my pro. Okay. 
violated the record they violated my pro league for that. Right, right. But I knew it wasn't right to, uh, to, to not come back to the work release center, but I just didn't want to place myself around people that's doing drugs and stuff like that. Right, right. And I got to tell everyone, you got to change the, if you, you don't want to do the same thing, you need to change the people in your crowds. Right. You can't be around people that's selling drugs, or you can't be around people that's drinking and, and all that. Right. Because if you is, you're going to want to do it too. So, right. Yeah. So you right. just got to keep yourself away from stuff like that. Right. And that's what I'm doing right now, keep myself away from people that sell drugs, because right. I know that's one of my my problems. Right, right, right. So, right. if I got a loved one that's selling drugs, I won't go around them. Right, so, right. Yeah, the Bible says that evil communication corrupt good manners. Yes. And basically what that means, if you hang around with the wrong crowd, you know what I'm saying, then you'll get caught up in the stuff that they're doing. So, I think that's one of the pluses of the Jeter's house, is that you're there, you don't have to get involved with nothing because all you need is a man. Yep. You know, I mean, if, you know, it'd be different if you had to worry about food and clothes and all that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? That would be a temptation to do something. Would you agree? Yes, sir. Yeah. It was always a temptation. That I, that's how I ended up back selling drugs all the other times. Because I was worrying about money, worrying about clothes and stuff like that. Mm hmm but that's what made me come to Jesus' house anyway, when they said that we don't got to worry about nothing, don't bring nothing, you don't got to bring nothing, just create yourself. Right, right, So, right. I mean, I've been blessed since I've been back at the Jesus' house. I came in there with nothing. Right. And I got a bunch of clothes. Amen. Praise so I know, I know, I know God works. Yeah. I know he moves. Right. And he answers prayers, so. Amen. I mean, I might not get released out of prison early like I was asking him to. But right, right. But like I tell everybody when I was in there, was that, if it was God, if it was for God to let me out early, he'll let me out early. Right. He might not be ready for me to go yet. Right. So I just, you know what I mean, I ain't never try to say God was, wasn't there. Mm -hmm. He answered our prayers. He's on time. So right. he might, I might want my time to come out there early. Right. So I end up doing all my time. Okay. So I ain't lose no time. And I had a lot of people, uh, COs come to me. It's like I had favor with the COs. Now, COs, what are those? Correction officers okay. at the facilities. All right. Like I have favor with all of them because they show me favors. Mm -hmm. not, not favors, but they show me for, like favor, like right. coming to me, talking to me about the Bible, saying that they go to church. Okay. And then that was my time to witness to them. Right. So, so you, 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 you lived your life as a Christian while you was locked up. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. That makes a whole, that makes a lot of difference. Yeah. I stayed in my word. Stayed right. in the chapel services. I mean. Yeah. When times I didn't feel like going, I still went. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it's all about God. Like Matthew 6, 33 says, Seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and all his righteousness. All things shall be added to you. That's right. He's yeah. going he gonna to add everything to my life as long as I keep seeking him. So, right. I mean, I'm not, that's why I don't worry about nothing, job right. or nothing. Right. I'm satisfied right now so far. Amen. Praise the Lord. So for those that are viewing, so you already said, the Jesus house is a place for them. Yes, sir. Yeah. It's a, it's a good place for them. Amen. If they really want to get their life together, come to the Jesus house. Amen. Because, I mean, you can't go wrong. Amen. I didn't. So. I extend an invitation to you. If you're there, you're watching this uh, program, uh, you can be just like Isaac, some of the other residents that we, we're having on this program. Uh, if you, uh, you know, want to get your life together, Jesus house is a place for you. Uh, and how would how would they come to the Jesus House? How'd they get here? You know, just you can either write the Jesus House, or you could just go to your chapel, get a an application, and send it to the Jesus House, and then they they get it get in, and then they send you a acceptance letter. Amen. Now, what you do with the acceptance letter? You gotta hold on to that subject letter. <laughs> That's the way to get back. That's the way to get into Jesus House because you're gonna need it when you come to the Jesus House. Right. What if you come to the Jesus House? You don't have no acceptance letter. Then the director gonna look. He gonna look it up and see if you on file. You should right. be on file. Right. If you lose your um, acceptance letter. Right. So what he's saying that if you lose your acceptance letter, you supposed to. Now once we send your acceptance letter, you're supposed to send it back. You're supposed to keep, keep the acceptance letter. And if you come to the Jesus house and don't have no acceptance letter, then we look through the files and and, and see did you fill out the application. Because sometimes you can lose your application if you move from prison to prison or whatever. Yeah. Uh, you understand? Know so we'll check the, our files and see if you are in our files. In other words, if you did fill out the application, uh, we can tell by that file whether we accepted you or not, and you still can come to the Jesus House. But you have to have an application on file 
it ought to get to the Jesus house. You can't. We we we've had folk. I just we just had a guy not too long ago uh, showed up at the Jesus house. Uh, he knew me from years ago, and uh, he came to the Jesus house, and his story was, well, I know Pastor Bumpers, you know, we raised up together, uh, they just let me out of prison, and I didn't have no place to go, so I want to know, can I come to the Jesus house? Well, my resident directors contacted me, and the answer is no. If you don't have no acceptance letter, we can't let you back into the Jesus house or into the Jesus house if you don't have an application. Why? Because we don't know what you've been doing for no 12 years or six years or, you know, we don't know what you've been doing. Just because you say you know me, you know what I'm saying? That don't get you in Jesus house. Because nine times out of 10, I ain't going to be there. It's going to be the resident directors <laughs> and they are under uh, strict, uh, uh, we are strict. You know what I mean? You've got to have an application on file or and you have to have an acceptance letter. Bottom line. If you got that, then the rest is clear. That's what we tell guys all the time. Amen. You want to add anything to that? Yes. I just want to say y'all just stay blessed out there. Stay stay under God's under God's cover. Because God got you. He he open doors for you as long as you're seeking him. Just stay on it and stay in tune because the devil is here to steal, kill, and destroy. Yeah. And I know y'all don't want to be a, let the devil kill y'all, so... Just stay, stay focused on God and just let Jesus be number one in your life. Before we close the telecast, what uh, different subjects have you been studying, studying at Jesus' house? Most of mine's been on faith and belief. Faith and belief. Yes, sir. Okay. And the reason why is that because my, my faith be down, down sometime and I got I to gotta keep it strong. Right. And then my belief. I mean, I do, I believe about everything about Jesus died on the cross and all that. Right. It's just, I just be having thoughts and right. stuff like that, and I just got to stay prayed up. Right. Because them thoughts come in my head. Right. And I know the devil know what's our weaknesses. Right. So, them thoughts come up in my head, and I just push them away. Right. Now, don't get me wrong, I have people that came to me try to sure. get me back on that path. Right. But, you know, I can turn them away. Right. I mean, I know what I want. Right. And I know what I'm trying to do. Right. My thing is now is to serve God. Right. And right now, on that note, he's built my faith up to the point that I believe in everything that's going on, prosperity yeah. and everything else, because he's been blessing me financially, physically, and mentally, and spiritually. So, right. I mean, and I ain't even got a job right now. Amen. So. Praise the Lord. Amen. Yeah. So I've been, I've been, all my needs been met. Yeah. So he, he built my belief back up a little bit. And he built, he built my faith all the way back up. Right, right, so, right. We're just reading out of Hebrews, the, the, the faith chapter. Okay. And, and reading about all them that God did stuff for, and they all have faith in them. Right. And and I seen that I know he can do the same for me. So. Right, right. So I'm just going to study, just keep on studying. God opened the door for a job for me. He opened right. up everything for me when I need it. Right. Right now it's time for me to just get strong in the Word. Amen. I agree. God is good. All the time. Amen. Brother Isaac Corbin, glad to have you on the program. Thanks, sir. We'll be right back. Jesus House Book. People ask all the time, how do I start a reentry program? Where I get the money at? Where I get the food? Where I get the clothes? That's what this book is all about. Jesus House will teach you how to open up any kind of program, any kind of reentry program, a work release program, a program for youth, whatever kind of facility that you want to open up, Jesus House will give you the A, B, and C's of opening up any kind of program. So make sure you get your copy today. Let me offer you this week, not only my book, You Can Be Set Free, but we have two other specials I want you to have. One is called Healed of Cancer. That's my story of how God healed me of cancer. And it also gives you a glimpse how you can believe God for whatever you're going through. And also my comic track called Blind No More. That's my story in a condensed form and I want you to get it. So feel free to write us. It's absolutely free in Jesus name. Praise Jesus again and uh, welcome back. And for those that haven't been watching, uh, you've been watching the Jesus Inside Prison Ministry, Jesus House broadcast. And of course we come on this uh, telecast uh, this station every week at the same time. So even though you missed it uh, today, uh, make sure you tune in to us next week at the same time. But for those of you that have been viewing the telecast, I pray that it has been a blessing to you. Uh, our guest, uh, Isaac uh, Corbin, is a resident 
uh, at the Jesus house. And as you heard, he's been there uh, five months now and he's doing good. Amen. And uh, learning the word of God, learning, learning how to live by faith. And uh, that's what we teach at the Jesus house. Amen. I want to encourage you uh, that uh, uh, we have a men, I have a man, men's Bible study every Tuesday evening from 7 to 8. A men's Bible study every Tuesday evening from 7 to 8. And I'm there. I teach that class. Any men watching this telecast is welcome to come to that uh, program every Tuesday from 7 to 8, Men's Bible Study at the Jesus House. Our physical address is 3402 North Schofield Avenue, Indianapolis, 46218. That's right down the street from 34th and uh, Keystone. 3402 North Schofield, Indianapolis, 46218. <clears throat> That's our uh, Jesus House uh, Bible study as every Tuesday. Now we have one every evening, but every Tuesday I'll be there teaching from 7 to 8 and I want to welcome you to come to the program. Uh, also, uh, my books are there. If you want to get in contact with us, feel free to go on our website. You can download the Jesus House application there and fill it out and, and email it back to me and we'll get back with you. So until next week, praise Jesus for he is Lord. Thank you for watching Jesus Inside Prison Ministry Presents Jesus House with Dr. William Bumpus. To learn more about the Jesus House, to receive books by Pastor Bumpus, subscribe to our podcast, and to support Jesus Inside Prison Ministry, log on to www.jipm.org.